Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the AFE factory. I just thought I'd have a quick catch up with you um, as I've reached the sort of the completion stage of um, construction on this Model Collect uh, E50 Yag Tiger 2. So, um, yeah, got the um, homemade track guards on now. As you can see, and overall, I'm pleased with the outcome. These two on the um, the two separate ones on this side. In all honesty, I could have done a, probably a better job. On um, it was a bit of a learning process, and as this vehicle is going to be pretty um, beat up, the fact that these are a little bit untidy is it will just um, will add to that, but going on from here when I um, you know use this technique again I'll find some of a better process for folding this metal and neater process um, the sort of the double thickness layer of, of the aluminium gives it good rigidity uh, but it's still flexible enough to to uh, manipulate it but um, trying to get nice neat folds in it um, just using, well, I was just using that my hands and bending it along the um, edge of a ruler, <coughs> excuse me, um, is clearly a little bit hit and miss. So the, there's, um, there's some improvement in, in that to be made, which is which is obviously, that's all part of the process, isn't it? With modeling and that, you, um, you do bits and you learn from them. But overall, I'm pleased. I've got the, obviously you've seen this before, the mud guards on the front and the rear we're done the same way my shaky hands um, so yeah tracks are now finally done I mean they were I don't normally mind doing multi-part um, tracks but these were just for some reason were a real drain they took ages for me to do because I just wasn't very enthusiastic to keep going back and and finishing them but they're done and um, yeah we can move on now and um, I don't have to I don't have to think about putting them together anymore um, one of the other things I did which um, maybe I'm just was making work extra work for myself was I took um, every other tooth out on these um sprockets and i did that sort of for a couple of reasons really sort of just from a aesthetic i like the way it looked and i've seen that on some of the um other what if um e series tanks uh, and the other one other reason is although these sprockets are made for these tracks um, as some of you may well know they sit nicely, but once you start trying to wrap around the, the sprocket, it, it puts an extra amount of tension on there. They stretch a little bit and you can have problems either with the fit or um, with it breaking tracks. So that was my other thinking was it may well be that the, the tracks sit more nicely around the sprocket. Um, yeah, so we'll see when I actually put it together whether that is the case or not. Um, so yeah so um painting is now going to be the next thing obviously firstly is going to be a primer coat and um uh, just to really see as much to see whether there's anything that needs extra work on with regarding to filling or or other types of work obviously I've, as you as you know i've done a lot of work filling in gaps removing stuff etc etc so i don't, don't want that to show up um so that would be the next stage. The other thing that I did while I'm, on the, while I'm thinking about it is initially I removed all the um, track hangers because I wasn't gonna have um, extra track hanging on there. Um, and I didn't really want the look, it looked a bit cluttered with all those um, um, track hangers on their own, <clears throat> excuse me. But what I have actually done is I've gone back and added four on each side um, the reason for that is I'm going to use some of this 
sort of very fine wire that I can then um, put over the track hangers so that I can hang stuff like maybe tops on there to um, break up, a break up the colour a bit, um, make it a bit more visually interesting, and to um, make it a bit of a camouflage effect to try and disguise the primer on it. And I'll do the same on the barrel. I'll wrap it around the barrel, um, and that will be for the same reason, so stuff can be hung off the barrel if I think that's the way I want to go. Uh, yeah, so once the primer is done, it's obviously on to paint, and I've got this um, paint set that I'm really looking forward to using. Um, so the whole the idea is obviously the bulk of this vehicle is going to be done in um, the red primer, and then I will break it up with um, certain things are going to be painted it may be sort of Dunkel Gleb or something along those lines so I've um, whether it's the engine hatches there or the driver and radio operator hatches there again just to break it up a bit um, just so it's not all one solid um, primer color and again really just full adding a bit of um, interest and uh, making it look a little bit different. Uh, the thinking behind that being that, you know, when vehicles were damaged, um, they were either repaired in field, <coughs> excuse me, field um, repair sites, or if they were too badly damaged, they would then also be sent back to the factory to be repaired and then sent them back to the front and um, you know parts would inevitably be scavenged and removed off of um, other vehicles so you may find um, you know some bits are taken off other stuff and some were painted and others weren't you know it's not too much of a stretch to um, under, you know sort of believe that, that that to be a possibility so yeah so um, what I will do is I'll add a few photographs in just showing how I um, did these track guards um, and then we'll, then next week we'll be on to as I said on to painting um, and once I get to the paint set I'll be doing some um, painting videos because as I said I've not used this this um, a set like this before with the um, you know it's got the different colors and it's got a process that you follow to get the overall end result so I'm looking forward to using those and, and I've also heard good things about the Pataka paints so um, so that would be interesting to see how they spray and, and how they come out um, so I don't think there's anything much else to go over now um, we're just really at that point now so that I can start as I say start the painting and um, we'll go from there so yeah, have a look at these photos if you want and, and see what you, th you think and I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers.